Way Two 赛跑结束之后呢，乌龟跟兔子两个人的生活都遇到了很大的变化。没想到过了几年，乌龟变成镇上很有名的占卜师。慢慢的，大家其实看到乌龟也不会想要去调侃他、取笑他关于好久以前那次比赛的事情了。大家在路上看到乌龟啊，想到都是：请问一下，我今天运势如何呢？水逆了怎么办？ Ever had one of those days where everything goes wrong? You rush into an Uber, barely make it to work, only to realize you left your phone in Uber. Spill coffee all over your white shirt just before a big meeting. Started arguing over dinner plans with your partner. Next thing you know, someone's googling divorce lawyer, and at some point, someone sighs and says, "It's gotta be Mercury retrograde." 都是水逆惹的祸。Funny how a planet 48 million miles away gets blamed for our bad days, but why do we do this? The simplest answer: uncertainty makes us anxious, so we crave control. Life is unpredictable, and that stresses us out. So when something, anything, offers an explanation, we take it. Then comes authority bias. When someone sounds like they know the future, it's really hard not to believe them, even if deep, deep down we know it's probably just coincidence. And in the end, believing in something feels safer than believing in nothing. That's why we still check horoscopes, even if we roll our eyes while doing it. But seriously, why does Mercury retrograde get blamed for everything? Confirmation bias explains a lot. If you expect Mercury retrograde to mess things up, you'll find proof everywhere. Got a ticket for speeding? Mercury retrograde. Missed the bus? Mercury retrograde. But if you get a free coffee, do you ever think, "Wow, Mercury retrograde is really looking out for me"? Nope. Let's be honest. Shifting the blame is easier than facing regret. Oh, maybe I should have backed up my files. Is a tough pill to swallow. Oh, Mercury retrograde strikes again. Is much easier. Scapegoating a planet gives us a temporary sigh of relief. But here's a thought: If Mercury truly controlled our fate, how did the turtle reinvent himself? You know the story. Turtle beats rabbit. End of rabbit. But then what? In my version, the turtle didn't get glory. People just laughed harder. A turtle outran rabbit. Must have been dumb luck. Tired of being the town joke, he ran into the forest, studied the stars, and became a fortune teller. And just like that, he went from what a joke to. Wise master, because people care less about his past and more about what he could tell them about their future. The stars didn't change his fate; his choices did. Every time we blame Mercury, we hand over our power instead of saying it's gonna be Mercury retrograde. What if we ask, "What did I do to end up here, and what can I do to fix it?" So next time you think, "Oh, Mercury retrograde," stop. And ask, is it Mercury, or is it just me? Because maybe instead of waiting for the planets to align, we should do what the turtle did: ignore the noise, keep moving, and make better choices. Have you ever made a decision because of Mercury retrograde? Drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts.